I got these animals a little bit of corn. I got this uh, fly spray in my hand. But this fly spray, you know, it only costs a couple cents. And it uh it, it works immediately. If like uh, if you if you spray it on the animal like this, the, the, they're not gonna like it uh, but you gotta get a uh, downwind. And then uh but it works immediately. If you put it on the animal, it will kill the flies immediately. And so I like using this stuff because it only costs like, uh, you know, probably like two cents a bottle or something. Or, I mean, it's very, you know, you can, you can buy a concentrate solution and you can mix it. And you just go around and you spray it on the animals. And you want to get rid of these flies because these flies, if they get real bad, uh, it irritates the animals pretty severely. And these flies, they also uh, transfer a, uh, a wart virus. And so... Uh, your animals are gonna get uh, all warded up. They're gonna get warts everywhere. And then uh, you're gonna get deducted for that. I mean, the warts do uh, go away after a while. But if you have to sell the animals while it has warts on it, then it's uh, it's just not good. And so uh, you get deducted for that. It's considered a blemish. And so I just go around with this little bottle of fly, uh, of fly spray. It costs a couple cents and I just spray it on them while they're eating and it takes care of the flies immediately. And so here in a little bit, I am going to be uh, contacting the banker probably within the next three hours. I'm gonna finalize uh, what I wanna say and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call the banker. But you know, uh, the thing is, Okay, so I'm just going to be honest. I'm just going to be as honest as I can. I'm going to be as straightforward as I can. Uh, a lot of people, even, you know, they, they do not have any capacity to understand. Not, not, they, not that they don't have the capacity, but they don't know what it's like to, to run. Uh, they haven't ever seen a farm that runs five six seven cattle an acre they haven't seen it they don't understand what it is i mean uh you know i've always said that uh the big thing about not knowing something is that the only thing you know is not knowing you know uh, and one of the worst situations that you can be in is you are becoming an encouragement for other people to fail right it, like uh if you don't know something, but you believe you know something, and then you pass that on as correct information, you have now become a uh, an encouragement for other people to fail, right? And so uh, I would say, you know, and here's the things that almost nobody ever for your entire life, throughout your entire existence, are you probably, you, you may not ever get to see somebody who was, you know, making 10, you know, not, excuse me, making like 12, $14,000 a month on a 10 acre field. You may never get to see it again. I may be the only person that you ever get to see that makes money like this. I may be the only one. And if you take a look at why I make money like this, I run five, six, seven cattle an acre. My grass is still so tall that I have to plow up grass that is up to my shins. I mean, if you take a look at it for what it is, you are going to begin to realize why, you know, why I make this kind of money. But almost nobody has ever seen anything even close to this. And for your entire life, you may not even see anyone who even gets to the 10% mark. You may not. And so when I talk to the banker, I mean, uh, I'm going to have to talk. When I talk to the banker, no, I'm going to be as, as objectively straightforward as I can. And I'm going to be as descriptive as I can. And, uh, and I am going to ask to meet that banker in person. Because if I sit there and, and I say, you know, and I say I run five, six, seven cattle an acre on a 10 acre field and I make like twelve, fourteen thousand dollars a month, they're not going to know what it looks like at all. They, they, they've never even seen anything that even comes close. Right. Most people can't even make twelve thousand dollars an acre or excuse me. Most people can't even make twelve thousand dollars a month on, on, a, on a 500 acre farm. Most people can't even do that. And so when I talk to the banker, they're, they're number one. Okay, so most of the time when I talk to somebody and uh, when I talk to somebody and I tell them about what's going on with me, usually their first, their first uh, instinctive reaction is disbelief. You know, five, six, seven cattle an acre, 10, 12, you know, 12, $14,000 a month on a 10 acre field. Most of their time, most of the time, their first reaction is disbelief. It's disbelief, instinctively it's disbelief, and then by the time it hits their brain, 
then and their brain is in is you know most people default moron right the, you know uh, that that instinctively they they will they will go oh and then they will dis uh, disbelief and then by the time that it hits their brain and and they go into full default moron mode they're gonna believe they're gonna go oh my god this can't be true oh my god he must be lying I fell out of heaven to seven my life is a mystical magical journey and then they won't and then they will do circles in la la land until they die right that's what I call flailing in the ocean that's what I call the apple juiced mindset that's what I call you know. You know, a default moron, right? I mean, most people do. I don't like saying this, but you, I mean, once you go and you meet enough people, most people are like this. And so I, I'm just going to be honest. I, I don't really care what people think. I don't care what people think. At the end of the day, I know what I'm doing. God knows what I'm doing. I run five, six, seven cattle an acre. I make twelve, fourteen thousand dollars a month. I mean, it just is what it is. I mean, it does not matter. Uh, you know, I don't really care what anybody thinks. I'm just going to be honest. It just is what it is. If you want to take a look at it, then come and take a look at it. I mean, uh, don't sit there and, and do circles in La La Land until you drop dead. Don't do that. If you do that, I mean, I mean, uh, it's, it's too late for you. You're lost in the ocean, right? I mean, at that point, it's, you're lost in the ocean. I mean, you are stuck where you are for the rest of your life. And you are, I mean, you are stuck there forever. I don't know how else to put it. And so I'm going to go and I'm going to talk to the banker today. I'm going to talk to the banker today, and uh, I got a list of a few questions that I'm going to ask the banker. And uh, I'm going to be as straightforward and as honest as I can, right? The numbers are the numbers. I say that all the time. It does not, you know, money's not up for debate. Either you, you know, the money is just a check that is going, money is just a number that's going into your bank account, right? If you bring home $20,000 a month, then you bring home $20,000 a month. If you bring home $4,000 a month, then you bring home $4,000 a month. It does not matter what you think. Money's not subjective, right? And so, and, uh, but here, uh, by next weekend, if the weather is good, I may actually start selling my cattle a little bit early. Because if I am going to start filling out this application, which I am, I've already started it. I'm, I'm about uh, I'm about a uh, 30, uh, I would say about a uh, one third way done with the application already. I'm about a third way done with the application already. Uh, and uh, I want to start, uh, when, when I turn in that application, I want to put my checks on the very front, right? I, I made a, I made a six, I made a $6,000 check last week. I made a six thousand. I made a, I made a seven thousand dollar check. You know, a month ago, I made a six thousand dollar check a month ago. I made a six thousand dollar check last week. I made a, another six thousand, another seven thousand dollar check. You know, uh, over the last month, I've made about twenty thousand dollars. I want to put that on the very front of my and just in the cattle business, right? I made twenty thousand dollars in the cattle business over the last month. I still have forty animals. You know. Uh, I, I want to put that on the very front of my application, right? And so, uh, about uh, you know, uh, next week, if the weather is okay, if the weather is okay, I'm gonna start taking my animals to market, just because I want to. I want to. Uh, I'm in a situation where I would like to put that money on the very front of my application, right? Uh, last, uh, you know, a month ago, I brought home. A, a, well, I mean, it was a month and a week ago, I brought home a six thousand dollar check. You know, if I go and I bring home another six thousand dollar check this weekend, and I go and bring, or excuse me, if I go and bring home another six thousand dollar check next weekend, and then uh, let's say I get an opportunity to take another lot of animals, and I take another lot of animals to market, and I bring home another six thousand dollar check, it does not matter what anyone thinks. I've brought home, and then and then also over the last month, I made about thirty five hundred dollars working at W two. It does not matter what anyone thinks. You know, I, I don't really care what you think. I've, I brought home twenty twenty one thousand five hundred dollars, right? I brought home twenty one thousand five hundred dollars over the last month. You know, over a month, I, I bring I bring home. Uh, you know, last month, you know, over the last forty five days, I brought home about twenty one thousand five hundred dollars. It does not matter what you think, because at the end of the day, money's not subjective, right? And money is objective. When it comes to money, you just show them the money, right? I, that's why I show y'all my pit, my paychecks, right? I show y'all my checks because money is money. It is objective. It does not matter what you think. It's not up for debate. And so when I start, when I start, uh, you know, when I put in my application, I want to put my checks on the very front, right? Last month, I made six thousand dollars in the cattle business. I also brought home a three thousand five hundred dollar check on a W two. I made about nine thousand five hundred dollars for the month. 
This month, it's only been two weeks and I've already brought home another $6,000 check on the cattle business. Or maybe I bring, maybe if I get the opportunity to take uh, two lot of animals, I'll take two lot of animals to the market and I'll bring home a, uh, you know, a, a, you know, a, a twelve fourteen thousand dollar check. If I bring home a twelve fourteen thousand dollar check, and I brought home a six thousand dollar check last month, I mean, you know, it's only been about a month and a half into the tax year, and I've already made about uh, about thirty thousand dollars. And it does not matter what you think. You know, uh, you know, do not default moron, right? Do not default moron. It doesn't, you know, I'm showing you a business. I am telling you that this business makes about a quarter million dollars a year, somewhere between two hundred to two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. Do not default moron. Oh my God, you know, uh, you know, don't go and do that. I'm telling you that this is objective information. It does not matter what you think. And so, you know, and when I, when it comes to the banker, they're gonna understand the money. They may not, you know, they may have a nice nice pair of boots on, and they may have a nice hat on, but pro chances are they are not ever gonna have seen someone like me ever. I mean, and and, and that includes all of y'all on YouTube or whoever it may be. You know, I'm I can almost guarantee you know you, you are not ever gonna see somebody this good at farming for the entirety of your life. It would be fortunate if you found somebody who was ten percent. Who was at the 10% mark? Most people can't even make $1,500 a month on a, on any on any like a you know on any field. Like if you give them a 500 acre field, they they probably can't even make $1,500 a month on that field. And so you know, the money is the money. It does not matter what you think. Yes, I do bring home about 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 a quarter million dollars a year. Yes, I do bring home about $200,000 a year. Here, you know, are, are my paychecks. You can take a look at it yourself. You know, I don't I don't need your opinion. I do not care what your opinion is. Yes, I do run about five to seven cattle an acre. Yes, my grass is still so good that legitimately I am plowing up grass that is up to my shins. Yes, I mean I feed my animals on 90% grass. I mean it does not matter what you think. You know, I'm not here, you know, I'm not here for your opinions. I don't want your poorness rubbing off on me. I mean, you know, I got a lot of stuff to do. I got to run my own business. I got to go to work, you know, and then I got to come back and uh, I got to, uh, you know, seed my field. I got to fertilize my grass. I got to work on my business plan. No, I'm not going to hold your hand. I mean, you know, it just is what it is, right? The money is objective. And so I want to put my paychecks on the very front of my, uh, of my loan application. I want to show the banker the money, right? Yeah, you know, uh, over the last month, I made about $20,000 in the cattle business. Over the last 45 days, I made about $20,000 in the cattle business. You know, uh, I also work a, a day job that I make about $3,500 a month in. And you know, over 45 days, that's about uh, $4,500. Over the last about a month and a half, I've made about $26,000, $25,000. And so, uh, and it just is what it is. It does not matter what you think. You know, uh, please take a look at my application for what it is. Do not, you know, do not default moron, right? I mean, please do not default moron. If you default moron, what's going to happen is you are going to default moron forever. And then you are going to do circles in La La Land until you drop dead. You are going to do circles like that until you drop dead. Anytime anything happens, oh my God, you know, uh, you're just going to default moron, right? Oh my God, you know, it, it does not matter if we're talking about cattle. It does not matter if we're talking about real estate. It does not matter if we're talking about, uh, you know, uh, growing grass. It does not matter what it is you will you will immediately go back into the apple juiced mindset, right? That's what I call the apple juiced mindset. Please do not do that. If you, please, for the love of God, stop doing that, right? Like if you default moron and you go back into the apple juiced mindset over everything, you are going to be, you are, I'm telling you, you will do circles like that forever. You know, oh my God, you know, uh, a quarter million dollar loan to buy a piece of land is, is uh, $1,200 a month, $1,100 a month or whatever it may be. You know, uh, certain lenders offer different lending terms. Some offer, um, you know, uh, some lenders offer 40 year terms, some some lenders offer uh, 30 year terms, some lenders offer uh, 10 year terms. And if you do go to a lender that offers a 40 year term, if you go to a, a lender that uh, offers 40 year term on a, on a $250,000 loan and uh you know they got some uh thing uh you know like right now the lending terms I'm going to I'm going to confirm this with the banker but it's uh if I take a loan from the FSA, I do not I do not owe any insurance on that loan. I do not owe PMI. The only thing that I will have to pay is interest and uh, interest and principal. And uh, it is a 0% down loan. And so under these circumstances, and it's a 4.75% interest rate. So under these terms, 
you know, a quarter million dollar loan is about a thousand dollars a month. But if you went and you went to a conventional banker and they offered you a 30 year loan, if you took a 30 year loan to buy a piece of land, then uh, a quarter million dollars with PMI and uh, and all of that is probably going to be closer to, you know, and uh, it's probably going to be closer to about fourteen hundred dollars a month. But I mean, you know, at fourteen hundred, you know, oh, and and if they offer it to you at a at a at a thirty year term, you're probably going to be, uh, you know, uh, probably closer to about fifteen hundred dollars a month. But you can take a quarter million dollar loan for about fifteen dollars for, for about fifteen hundred dollars a month, right? Even if you went to a conventional banker and they offered you a thirty year loan, you could do that. Uh, if you went to a, uh, if you went to a, uh, you know, uh, just like a farm credit, if you went to a farm credit bank and they offered you a twenty year loan on like a nine percent interest, horrible loan terms. Horrible loan terms, you would still only be paying about $2,000 a month, right? $2,100 a month, something like that. I mean, uh, and, you know, numbers are numbers. It does not matter what you think. Go and talk to your banker. Don't sit there and go, oh, my God, he's lying. You know, a quarter million dollar loan on a 40-year term for 4.75 percent interest under the fsa loan terms is not a, you know oh my god he must be like you are default moron again i'm telling you go and talk to the banker you know if you want to go and talk, if you want to go and buy a piece of land i'm telling you go and talk to the banker and if you know do not default moron right do not do not default moron please for the love of god do not default moron you know if you, if you start thinking like that you will start thinking like that about everything oh my god you know uh, if i want to run cattle and it costs me 700 you know Oh my God! You know you can't grow. Uh, you know. Uh, you know you can't grow enough grass to feed 50 animals for 700 dollars a month. That's impossible. Uh, default moron, right? I mean, I'm just, I'm legitimate. I'm giving you the answer. I'm not asking for your opinion. I'm showing it to you every single day. This is. It just is what it is. I I, I put about about uh, you know, on this business in terms of the grass, I probably invest about 550 dollars a month, and my grass is still coming in so thick that legitimately I am plowing up grass that is up to my shins, and I am running five cattle per acre. I am running five cattle per acre and my grass is still coming in so good that I am having to plow it up. My cattle are not able to eat all of it. And, you know, uh, and, and maybe I put about an extra $250 a month. But, okay, here in about two weeks, you're going to see what I mean by uh, I, I invest about seven. dollars Right now, my, my expenses are very high because I'm putting these animals on a on a, on a, uh, on a high dollar feed until my grass comes in. But here in about uh, in maybe about two and a half weeks, my grass is going to be good to go. My grass in the front yard is, uh, is is doing real good. Here in about two and a half weeks, it's gonna be good to go. And when I put these animals on grass, they are gonna put on weight like you do not believe and it's not gonna cost me hardly anything. I'm, I'm, I'm Legitimately, it's gonna cost me about $550 a month, maybe $750 a month. And I am gonna grow so much grass that legitimately my animals are not even gonna be able to eat it. Even when I run five cattle an acre, you know, uh, I do not care what you think, you know, uh, you know, it just is what it is and i make it you know but i'm i'm telling you for the entirety of your life you are more than likely not ever going to see somebody that even gets to the 10 percent mark of what i do in terms of farming and when it comes to, you know i've always said rich rubs off right rich rubs off and poor rubs off too and when it comes to learning something you want to learn something from, from and if you want to watch even if you don't learn because here's the thing is if you just watch my videos for an extended period of time you have you know granted that you are somewhat average intelligence right like if you are in somewhere between the the if you are somewhere at the 100 iq mark right if you are somewhere at the 100 iq mark if you just watch what i do over an extended period of time you 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 will learn you i mean that is just how the brain works you will absorb what i'm doing your brain is a sponge right you will absorb what i'm doing and you know uh, i'm telling you uh, over an extended period of time it may even just be a year or so you will legitimately have learned more than you know you will legitimately know more about farming than like 99 percent of the entire population of the earth you probably will like, uh, you, you know, granted that you are about 100 IQ, if you are about 100 IQ and you watch my channel over, uh, uh, you know, the course of a year or two or whatever it may be, if you watch my channel for any extended period of time, you will legitimately know more about farming. Mentally, you will have more head knowledge about farming than like 98% of all the farmers on the earth. And you, and you could never, and you, you may not even have touched, a, a, you know, a, a, a plow in your entire life.
You may not have ever even touched a plow your entire life. You may not ever even have ran one bovine. You may not have ever even taken care of one cow your entire life. You may not have grown one blade of grass your entire life. But mentally, you will know more about farming than like 98% of the entire farming population of the entire earth. And that is what I mean by, you know, please, for the love of God, do not ask me for help. I don't care if you die tomorrow. No, I don't want anything to do with your, you know, nonsense deal. I do not want anything to do with that. So as of right now, even even right now, when I bring home about a quarter million dollars a year, I already, you know, I have I already have enough money to like legitimately. I don't care what your deal is. You know, do not offer me your deal. I do not care. I'm just going to be honest at about a quarter million dollars a year at about two hundred two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. I mean, I can. I already have enough money to practically do whatever I want, and no, I do not want, need your five hundred dollars, right? I don't. I don't need your two thousand dollars or whatever it is that you're offering. I do not care. I honestly do not care. You know, uh, you, you know your little nonsense. You know, uh, you know five thousand dollar check. I do not care. You know, uh, I honestly do not care. I mean, I, 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 I I'm not saying that to like uh, sound whatever. I, I am being one hundred percent straightforward with you. If you die tomorrow. I would not even notice you were gone. And so, you know, not, I do not want anything to do with your with your worthless deal. And I am showing you a farm that makes about a quarter million dollars a year. I'm showing it to you. I do not care what your opinion is. Do not default more on this farm makes about two hundred to two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. And so. That's it for me today. You two be off a good one.